Those pears are really good. Okay. Like the apple would be good, but the pear has a nice mm. resistance to it, mm -hmm. and like way more complex than an apple flavor would be. Hey everybody, welcome to North and South and another day of September pies where we're making a pie every day in September. But I'll tell you what, we're really just each day, it's like the, the um, our standards are getting a little dicey because today I'm making another tart and this one's not even round. So I don't know, you guys might argue I'm that it's not a pie. Anymore. But we have friends in town and I needed something fast, um, but they're here with us. I'll, I'll introduce them in a minute, but we're gonna throw together a really quick pear tart. And really this could work with apples. It could work with a lot of different fruits. We're just gonna do pear cause it's kind of fallish. And then we're gonna throw some salted caramel on top once it's done. Really easy to do and really pretty and tasty. So let's do it.
and I did not do the ginger because I actually went and bought just like salted caramel sauce for ice cream. And we brushed that on top and then we used our little brand new butane torch to yeah. like kind of creme brulee caramelize it a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and cut into this and eat some. Over here, <laughs> my uh, that looks injury. So good. Let me see it from this angle. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then, Brett, you want to grab a fork? Asher's our scooper. Our guest, Brett, goes first. You're right, you could just eat it. Go for it. Oh, yeah. Everyone's watching. This is Brett. Hi. <laughs> Brett's, Brett's, Brett's our friend. Sorry, Their family's here. Brett's an amazing chef. Mm. Is, oh is it good? Oh yeah, so good. I didn't think the pears were going to be cooked through perfectly, but they're absolutely perfect. They're so good. The pears got cooked through? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Okay, I want to taste No, it. okay. <laughs> Megan, you want to try some? Now we have more people lining up. Whoa. Thumbs up. Yeah. Jude gives thumbs up as well. Two thumbs up. Okay. Even better. I just want to. Oh, wait. I already got a plate, though. That's okay. This is yours. You just had a really good bite? What was so good about it? There was tons of, uh, like, burnt caramel. Oh, yeah. And so. The bottom is like kind of. Hey, get some more. This is yours. The bottom is good. I got pools in the bottom. So the caramel was a good choice. The brulee, I as it were. One oh. bite. One bite. Those pears are really good. Okay. Like the apple would be good, but the pear has a nice mm. resistance to it, mm -hmm. and like way more complex than an Can apple flavor that? would be. Okay. Nice. Oh. oh, that caramel does smell really good. And the crust tastes like a donut. Mmm. Mm. That is really good. It is very good. Really good mix of all the flavors. And the caramel is like, it's like the caramel on top. Really good. Really good. You like it, Maggie? Yeah, it's really, really good. Mm. What do you guys think? It's super good. Really good, huh? This, I haven't tried it with that. In my opinion, this yeah. is my second favorite pie. The meat pie. Oh. Um, so, no, which meat pie is your favorite? Cottage pie? Or the potato pie? I think the potato pie. Was Irish good. potato pie. Probably. Okay, let's see. What do you think? It tastes like a donut. Yeah, it's so good. Mm. Ah, I got a I like the crust. It's good. The crust is so good. Puff pastry is where it's at, and it makes things so easy. So we're done. That was a super easy recipe, but it. It's big wow factor, and it was so delicious. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for supporting September Pies. It's been quite a pleasure for me and for the North family. Totally. And, and uh, guests. Yeah, and guests. So we'll see you next time tomorrow with another pie. Bye.